there are things that we need to allow to die off and there are things new that need to grow so that we can live into the baptized life. What I look for in Lent now and in my practices of Lent is really around like, what are the things that I need to add into my life? And as I'm doing that, what are the things that naturally need to give way to make space for that? Um, and so for me, it's a little bit more of like a generative thing and it's play with what the word repentance really means. It's this idea of turning, right? It's the, the shift of attention from one thing to another. And so for me, I try to use Lent um, to do that, to shift my attention. There's something in the experience of Ash Wednesday where it's very like humiliating in in the root of that word the the humus and humility and human like all of that is basically talking about dirt it is this thing that like grounds us in the reality that we're all from this carbon and dust and dirt and we will all return to this and we say remember that you are dust and to dust you will return for people who experience any level of privilege in our lives, it's important to have that humility reminder. It plays different depending on your social location, right? In these spaces, queer Christians have been told our whole lives in a lot of these churches, even to this day, that there's something wrong with you. And it has been used in a way that justifies the real physical violence, domestic violence, and murders of queer people, particularly Black, Brown, and Indigenous, transgender women especially. And so for us to be reminded of our death at Ash Wednesday, it's not much of a turn. It's not much of a shift of attention. It's just a Tuesday or a Wednesday in this case, right? Perhaps what we need to be reminded of is not our death but our life, but our value and dignity. And so, thus the glitter ash. Through the mingling of ash and oil on my forehead, I am called to remember my shared humanity with every person on earth. The addition of glitter invites me to honor the particularity of my own experience, of learning to thrive in a world where many fellow followers of Jesus have been the very agents of harm that have visited death on my own story. To be marked by both ash and glitter helps me hold together in my body that I am a part of this oh-so-human body of Christ. Human cruelty and fragility and the need for resurrection exist in me personally and in us collectively. Our repentance is tied up together.